Hi guys, so today I'm celebrating episode 50, so yay! Ooh. I'm very tired and I'm very exhausted and I haven't been doing many blog entries because I don't feel um, that I have anything to communicate right now. Um, it's simply a question of feeling too physically exhausted. So the last many weeks, even before we left, uh, we left to New York, you know, I've just been really exhausted. So I've um, spent all of my time lying on the couch. I don't really get out of the house too much. When I do, it's difficult. I used the cane one time and it's like very tiring. Um, my days essentially look like this. I lie on the couch and I watch shows now. So I'm happy to live in this digital world where that's easy for me to procure. And um, I've been putting off doing this 50th episode because I was hoping to make it something more special but I guess in the world of illness this is special <laughs> <coughs> I'm very sick and uh, there's no way around it um, there's a few things that I am very happy about uh, now that I'm coming up six months into my the beginning of my treatment um, so I, if you've been following the blog for a while, you know that I struggled a lot with anxiety with when I was taking doxycycline, which was acting directly on the brain infections. And slowly but surely that got better. And so I no longer have the racing thoughts all the time. I also am too tired to have racing thoughts but I still think they'd manage to be there if, uh, if it was a few months ago. So that is very positive and I feel calmer and more grounded. Always good. I'm managing to stay pretty undepressed, which is really, really nice as well. Uh, it is a daily struggle because I essentially have not much of a life um, due to my physical condition. But I'm exercising patience and I just literally, literally, literally take it one day at a time. Um, you know, one minute at a time. I just, I don't really plan anything. <laughs> um, when I get up, and I'm home alone, I'm, you know, I'll make breakfast and I, by the time I'm done eating breakfast, I'm eating like this and I go lie back down and I usually won't even clean up after myself because it just takes too much energy. But that brings me to um, another thing I'm very happy about is that I've been managing to stay clear off, uh, stay clear of harsh painkillers so I don't um, I don't have to numb my body and damage it further by taking a lot of pharmaceuticals that could be harmful for me as well especially in such a weak state so if I was to do more with the very little energy that I have then I would be in a lot more pain and so there's a lot of management that goes into that. Obviously a lot of help from Jan's part. When he's home, I don't get off the couch too much. Um, he's, you know, he will get me tea or water or make food and everything like that. So um, I'm very lucky about that as well, as I've mentioned plenty of times already. So I, feel like I don't have too too much to communicate on the blog right now because I feel too tired and I, do, I have a lot of things that are on my mind about Lyme disease but I'm unable to um, make them into something cohesive and coherent. <laughs> 
to the point that I would like. So, and I think it might also have something to do with the change of seasons. Um, I feel like I need to, I, to hibernate a bit and just get through this period of, of, you know, I don't feel like marking time right now. <laughs> I don't feel like marking episodes. Every day is just a blur of more lying on the couch and <laughs> I see the sun go and the sun go and the sun go. And so hopefully I will be feeling better soon and uh, you'll he hear more from me then. Take care and uh, thanks for being here.